Okay, so um, for the discussion of today's class, um, th there's this word in yoga in Sanskrit, brahmacharya. And it's a word that's thrown around a lot because it's interpreted, or at least the practice of brahmacharya is interpreted in different ways. Um, the translation of the word brahmacharya is right use of energy. And some people do translate this as practicing celibacy, which if you understand the use of energy through celibacy, that can be one way of doing it. But the broader understanding of it is recognizing how everything that we take into our lives, the way we use our body, the way we think, all affects our energy, our mental energy, emotional energy, physical energy, spiritual energy. For example, um, the food we eat, right? We know that's fuel for the body. The entertainment that we choose, we know that things that we watch or read or um, the screen time, all of that affects our energy. The people that we spend the majority of our time with. Um, we know there's certain people that we leave their company and we're just inspired and elated and other people you're just like wow i gotta go take a five hour nap and that person <laughs> zapped my energy um and i'm not saying to cut people out of your lives but there are certain people that we have to create some more boundaries with because their energy is a little bit more taxing and then our thoughts and if we're stuck in a negative loop we know that's much more draining than if we can keep our thoughts of uh, a lighter quality or you know more inspirational more uplifting especially when it comes to ourselves we tend to be the harshest critics of ourselves and if we can keep that negative self-talk to a minimum and really like focus on the things we're grateful for our successes and just embracing all that we are right now that also helps to keep our energy more steady, more balanced. Um, so how do we become aware of the flow of energy, right? So one of the practices, mindfulness, is a way of tapping into kind of understanding how things affect us one way or another. Also, we can help to increase our energy, keep our energy balanced and of a, a higher vibrational quality through breath work, through meditation, through movement practices. So all these different things, we definitely feel a certain effect on our mind, body, emotions, connecting to spirit, all those things. So when we're moving through the practice today, when we're moving through our meditation, see if you can focus on it in a more energetic way. And, and I know that's kind of a problematic word because it, it has such a, it can refer to so many things, but let, let yourself develop that relationship with what it means to you right now, right? Maybe it really is specifically about how your body feels, how your body's interpreting the movement or the practice, the meditation practice, the mindfulness practice. Maybe it is about the nature of your thoughts. Maybe it's keeping your thoughts more calm, more steady, or shifting them to something more positive. Maybe you can actually feel the flow of, in yoga, we call it prana, um, of energy as it moves in and out of the body, through the limbs, through the organs, and, and how you interact with that sensation. But there's no right or wrong way of having that awareness of it. It's just a matter of how you plug in to that awareness. Okay, so with that in mind, let's get into our mindfulness meditation. So feet flat on the floor. Try to find that uplifted spine. Rest your hands in any position that feels comfortable for you. Close your eyes. So as soon as you set up the posture, it always takes a few moments to settle in. So think of shifting from external awareness to internal awareness. And we can start from the observation of the outside sensory inputs to the inside sensory inputs. And again, this is with our eyes closed. So 
begin maybe with observing the sounds around you. Maybe it's the sound of your room itself. Maybe it's the sounds immediately outside of your room. Maybe it's the heat or the air conditioning. Maybe there's quiet and you can connect to just a natural kind of ambient buzzing of the room. And then notice the temperature of the air in the room. See if you can connect to feeling that on your skin. And then start to come a little bit deeper inward and start with the sensation of feeling your feet on the floor. Even let your feet feel heavier as if you're wearing cement socks. Just feel a sense of grounding there. And then start to take that awareness from the bottoms of your feet all the way up through your legs. Observing that flow of energy from the feet up into your calves, your knees, up into your thighs. Observing your hips, feeling the sensation of your hips on your chair. And again, with the intention of feeling a little bit more grounded, feel a heaviness in your hips without losing your upright posture, kind of anchor down into the chair a little bit more, a little bit more present. See if you can relax your belly. And then observing that flow of energy up the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the base of the neck. And see if you can even notice a sensation of flowing energy up your spine, up and down. In yoga, there's an awareness of the main energy channel in the body moving up and down the spine, which makes sense because that's where our spinal cord is. That's where we get a lot of information from the brain to the body, the body to the brain. And see if you can imagine that flow of energy, that flow of information. And with that awareness, soften into your chest. Soften through the shoulders. Notice the sensation that you have in your palms, and your fingers, and your wrists. So keep in mind this is not a practice of judging what you're feeling or observing. You're simply witnessing, allowing. And then take that awareness of the energy of the body up the forearms, into your elbows, your upper arms, finally meeting back in the shoulders, and then tracing that up in through the neck, from the neck all the way into your face, through to the crown of your head. And then once you've traced the body, once you've scanned the body, Come back to the concept of being aware of energy, the flow of energy. Keeping that in mind, we're gonna draw our focus to the breath. So first, intentionally drawing your thoughts to the breath. Keep your breath natural and just feel that subtle sensation of the air as it moves in and out of your nostrils. Maybe just take your awareness completely to the tip of your nose 
and start to even visualize the energy through the breath moving in and out of the body, in and out of the nostrils. Take a couple moments there just to visualize. And now we'll start to affect the flow of energy by manipulating the breath. So now we're going to take slower, deeper breaths in and out of the nose. As you inhale, try to feel the inhalation beginning in the belly, expanding through the ribs all the way up into the space beneath the shoulders, and then exhaling from the shoulders, the ribs, down into the belly. Feel that wave of breath. Inhale, belly, ribs shoulders, exhale, shoulders, ribs, belly. Keep that flow of breath, inhale, belly, ribs, shoulders, exhale, shoulders, ribs, belly. So continue at your own pace as long as the breath is slower and deeper flowing up and down the spine, flowing in and out of the body, witnessing how this conscious control of the breath starts to control the flow of energy in the body. Now, as you continue to control that deep breathing, take a moment here to contemplate the flow of energy within your own life. Are there things that affect your energy in a negative way? And like I said, it's everything from the food we eat, the entertainment that we engage in, the people we surround ourselves with, our exercise, our thinking, time spent in nature. We know that nature helps to affect our energy in a very positive, balancing way. Our belief systems about ourselves and the world, all of these things have a very profound effect on our energy. Maybe even just thinking about today, the way you woke up in the morning. If you've already had a meal, the quality of the meal, what kind of energy did you feed yourself? And this is not in a judgmental way at all. Again, it's just looking for spaces where maybe you can let go of certain things that you know intentionally bring your energy down and embrace those things that help to balance and lift your energy up. and bring your awareness back to the breath. Again, witnessing the flow of energy in this moment. And 
And if you're engaging in deep breathing, come back to natural breathing. Place your left hand on your heart. Your right hand lays on top of your left. And we're going to breathe into that space, into the upper chest, into the heart. Take a deep inhale. Release that out of your mouth. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. Out of the mouth. Exhale. Release your hands down. And gently blink open your eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead into the movement portion of it. Um, and again, if you need any modifications, you have questions about a posture, please don't hesitate to unmute yourself. So let's begin right in with the flexion of the spine. These are called cat-cow tilts. So keep your feet a little bit wider than your hips, hands to your legs, and then as you inhale, chest forward, shoulders back, you're even tilting your tailbone back and up, arching the spine. And then exhale, reverse that movement by rounding, chin in, feeling the sensation of tilting your tailbone towards your face. Let's do it again. Inhale, open it up, shoulders back, reach. Exhale, pull it in as you round. One more, inhale, open it up. Exhale, bring it in and round. Gently unravel the body all the way back up. Take your hands to your sides. If you can, you can even grasp onto the chair if that feels a little bit more supportive for you. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Now you're gonna even shift your gaze as far to the right as you can. And then exhale, look back to the front. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Shift your gaze as far to the left as you can. Inhale, back to the front. Again, um, looking over towards the right. Take it forward and back to the left. And forward. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Bring your head back up. Left ear towards the left shoulder. Take it back up one more time. Right ear, right shoulder. This time you can take your right hand to the opposite side of your head. Keep your shoulders relaxed as you gently pull your head to the right shoulder. And then draw your chin in slightly so you're stretching the back left side of your neck. Release that right hand down. Gradually pick your head all the way back up. Take your, ear, your left ear towards your left shoulder. Left hand comes to the opposite side of the head. Relax the shoulders down as you gently tug. And then draw your chin in slightly, stretching the back right side of your neck. And release that hand down. Pick your head all the way back up. Let's circle our shoulders back. Circle the shoulders forward. Interlace your fingers and circle the wrists. You can move it gently. Take the rotations in the other direction. Good. 
release it, shake it out. Take your arms out in front of you, palms facing up. Bring your palms to your shoulders. Try to keep the elbows high. Press them away from you. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away. Palms to the shoulders. Press it away and release the arms down. Feel free to shake it out a little bit. Good. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Now you're gonna open your elbows as wide as you can, pulling your shoulder blades in, but try not to shrug your shoulders. And then pull your elbows in, tuck your chin in, round your upper back. Bring it back up, inhale, open, elbows wide, chest lifts, shoulder blades in. Exhale, take it in and round. Do it again, inhale, open it up, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, bring it in and round. Release your hands down, come all the way back up. Take your hands behind you if you can, grab onto some part of the chair. Maybe scoot your hips a little bit further forward and you're gonna arch the spine, shoulder blades in. Now, be mindful of your neck. If it feels comfortable, you can look up. slowly come back to your neutral position. Good. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Lean it over towards the right, taking your left arm over. You can always grab onto the chair with that right hand. Try to keep the breath deep and steady. Good, bring it all the way back up. And then take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. Your right hand comes behind you and then look over that right shoulder as you twist. Try to keep the hips and knees pointing forward. Untwist back to the front. Good. Inhale, arms back up. Lower your left hand down. Take your right arm over. Come all the way back up. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand comes behind you. Keep your knees facing forward, feeling the twist from the lower back all the way up through the chest. And gently untwist back to the front. Excellent. Okay, um, keeping your legs a little bit wider apart and the depth of this forward fold is completely up to your comfort zone. So maybe the hands are resting on the thighs, maybe they're dangling closer to the floor. Just whatever posture feels comfortable, it's a soft forward fold. The upper body is just hanging free. Make sure you're not holding any extra tension in the neck. If you need to kind of Shake your head and shoulders around a little bit just to let it go. Good. 
And then be mindful as you slowly unravel all the way back up. Excellent. Okay, keeping the toes on the floor, you're gonna lift your left heel up off the floor and lower down. Lift again and lower. I know you can't see my feet. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One more lift and lower. Now on the right side, lift the right heel. Take it down. Lift it up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One more. Lift and lower. Now you're going to keep the heel on the floor. You can walk your feet a little bit further out. And you're going to try to peel the bottom of your foot and your toes towards you and bring it down. Flex your left foot towards you and lower. Flex it up and lower. Flex and lower. Two more. Flex and lower. Last one, pull your toes up and lower down. Going over to the right side, again, you can scoot that right foot a little bit further away from the body. Keeping the heel on the floor, flex the toes of the right foot towards your face and lower down. Flex it up, lower down. Flex, and lower, flex, and lower, two more, flex it up, lower down, flex it up, and lower down. Okay, now with your left foot, you're going to lift it up and circle your ankle a few times. If it's too much to lift the foot, you can keep the heel on the floor and rock the foot from side to side, kind of tick-tocking the foot from side to side. Once you've circled in one direction, reverse it. And lower down. Same thing on the right side. You can keep the heel on the floor and tick-tock the foot or lift it up and take a full rotation through the ankle. And reverse it. Excellent. Lower it down. Okay, so you're going to lift and lower that left leg. That's one option, or you can lift, extend, bend, and lower. And don't worry about how far you can take it. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. And try not to let the shape of the back change too much. Let it come more from the support of the core. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. Two more. Lift it up, reach it out. Bring it in, lower it down, lift it up, reach it out, bring it in, lower down. Good. Other side. Take that right leg up. Reach it out to your point of control. Bring it back in, lower down. Lift it up, reach it out, take it in. Lower down, lift it up, 
reach it out. Take it in, roll it down, lift, extend, bend, and lower, last one. Lift it up, reach it out, bring it in, lower down. Good, if you need to, give it a little shake. Okay, now we're crossing the left ankle over the right knee. Initially, take a little bit of pressure, pushing down through, not the knee, but make sure you're pushing more into the hip area. So you're pushing that left hip out, and you can even lean your body over to the right a little bit more. Pick yourself back up. Now keep that leg as it is. You can stay here, right? Because we're already feeling that opening through the hip or you can start to come forward a little bit. You can hold on to the chair. You can even hold on to the leg, placing your palm more towards the thigh than the knee as you reach your chest forward and press down through your hips. Take it all the way back up. Let's see if we can give that knee a little squeeze into the chest and then release the leg down. So remember, you're still maintaining that deep breathing throughout all of these movements. Take the right ankle over the left knee, leaning a little bit to the left, using your right hand, gently pressing the right thigh out. Take it back up. Now you can rest your hands to your sides. So you can keep them on the chair or you can take them onto the right leg. And you're pushing down through your hips as you reach your chest forward. Try to keep the shoulders drawn back and just breathe through it. Don't force anything. Slowly bring it back up, draw that knee in, and release the leg down. Okay, take your left knee, open it out to the side, working with that 90 degree angle here. Bringing your left forearm to your left quad, try to keep that opening through the hip, and reach your right arm over your ear. Try to keep some space between the left shoulder and the left ear instead of sinking down into the shoulder. See if you can push it away. Bring it all the way back up. Now, while we're here, grab onto the chair if you can and get another little opening through the chest. Chest up, shoulders back, yes. Good, and then bring it back up to a neutral position. Take that left knee forward. Keep the left knee pointing forward. Open the right leg out, 90 degrees. And then bring your right forearm to your right quad. Reach your left arm over your ear. And remember to keep that space between the ear and the shoulder as you lengthen through the side of the body. Good. 
I'm going to bring it all the way back up. Let's create another little arch through the upper back reach. And bring it back to center and pull that right leg back in. Open the left knee out to the side. Now, this time you can keep the right knee rotated in or you can start to extend that right leg further back behind you. See if you can get your hips to face the left knee and start with the arms extended out in front of you, facing that left knee. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed as you find the breath. Okay, now we're going to shift so that, and you might need to shift the leg a little bit too, so that we're now facing forward, and you can bend this knee a bit as well. Be mindful of that knee. And take the arms out to the sides. Good. So you're keeping your chest and hips facing forward, but now you're going to look over towards that left hand. Relax the arms down, bring both legs back to the center. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, right leg opens out to the right. And this time we're gonna try to extend that left leg back. See if you can get your hips to face that right leg and then reach your arms straight up. Yes, nice. Keep the breath deep, shoulders relaxed. You can even bend your elbows here if it's creating strain on the neck and shoulders. And then release your hands so that you can now shift so that the hips and chest are facing forward as much as you comfortably can. Reach your arms out to the side, keep the shoulders relaxed, and look over towards that right arm. Gently release the arms down, bring both legs back to the front. Do we need to shake the shoulders out a little bit? <laughs> oh, you're feeling your shoulders. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to take another forward fold here. You can keep the same width or go wider. Again, the hands can be on the thighs. Maybe they just hang in front of you. Maybe they actually touch the floor. Keep your chin tucked in so the neck isn't straining or pinching. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Try to find your breath, even here in this forward fold. And then slowly bring it all the way back up. Bring the feet back in so that they're hip width. And we're gonna do a couple more cat cows here. So the flexion of the spine. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back, reach. Exhale, chin in, round the shoulders and 
tuck it into the chest. Again, inhale, open it up. Exhale, round it in. Inhale, open and arch. Exhale, pull it in. Slowly bring it all the way back up. Take your arms up, bend your right elbow, use your left hand to gently pull the forearm or the elbow back. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed here. Don't force anything. Keep the breath going. Open it up. Take that right arm across your chest. See if you can hook it with the left arm. And then guide your left ear to the left shoulder. Take your head back up, release the arms. Inhale, reach it back up, bend your left elbow. Use your right hand to draw it back. Keep the shoulders relaxed, keep the chest lifting. Open it back up. Take that left arm across your chest. Hook it with the right. And try to guide your right ear towards the right shoulder. And take your head back up. Release the arms, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, I'm going to scoop the chair back to the front. And we're going to take a few rounds of our alternate nostril breathing. So this is where we use the fingers to pinch off the nostrils so that we're just isolating the breath on one side. So again, this little mudra here is index and middle finger of the right hand. You lower that down. And these three remaining fingers are the little pinch pincers for the nostrils. Yes, that's it. Take a deep inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of your nose. Seal the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open right, exhale.
Inhale, ready. Close the right, open left, exhale. Inhale, left. Close the left, open right, exhale. Inhale, right. Close the right, open left, exhale. Keep your eyes closed, lower your right hand down, inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of your nose. Now you can continue deep breathing in and out of your nose. Maybe you feel like you just want to come back to a natural breath. And we're going to pause here to just observe, go within, notice the effects of the practice, notice how you feel energetically, mentally, emotionally, notice how your body feels in this moment. Become aware of your relationship with yourself in this moment. Maybe it shifts your perspective of what's going on outside of you, outside of this immediate moment. And again, just contemplating the way that you use energy. How can you Invite in more practices that help to keep your energy balanced and high. And maybe there are certain things that you can let go of or at least create firmer boundaries around that might be bringing your energy down. Or creating an erratic energy input. Ultimately, the most important thing is just getting to know yourself in the most honest, raw, vulnerable way possible. To live your life from the space of that authentic self. And to acknowledge what you need personally to maintain your peace with yourself. This is the most effective way to allow that peace to trickle out to everyone and everything in your life. Starting from the inside. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top of your left. Feeling the warmth of your hands as you connect a little deeper to your heart center. Sending yourself some necessary love. Sending it to your loved ones. And even sending it out to those that you do not know. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Release that breath out of your mouth. <sighs> Release your hands down and gently blink open your 